Hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. And uh, off camera, I did grind for full sub tanks. I find the best spot to do that in uh, Toxic Seahorses stage. Right before that waterfall area, you'll find two of those uh, purple guys with the one cannon on their head. And you just go back and forth, and they seem to have a pretty good uh, health pickup rate. And I also grinded for. Uh, one up since I had the time to do that. And this is one of my favorite uh, themes in this game. Oh, I was waiting for the map to appear. Apparently we don't get a map. Which, that's unfortunate. Uh, and I grinded for the one ups in Crush Crawfish's stage. Uh, right where, towards the end where you have those... Whoa, hey. That's a little too close for comfort. You have those... Uh, you have those two one-ups towards the end there that you need the uh, Tornado Fang to get. And uh, just be slow, take uh, take low jumps, use your, use your dash jump well. And uh, try not to worry too much about getting hit. And we have the Wall Crushers, kind of a returning theme from Mega Man X2. But I believe that's all we see of them. We don't see the uh, wacky, jagged patterns that we saw in, in that game. Ah, uh, so let's use this. I like this weapon. And this is our mini boss. I don't know what he's really weak against. We're going to, uh, oh, hi Zero. X, I've come to help you. I'll stop the collapsing ceiling. You destroy that junk robot. Oh, well, that sounds good to me. So once again, we're uh, working as a team. Well, oh, he didn't take much. X, there is an army of powerful mavericks in Dr. Doppler's lab. They've been modified by Dr. Doppler to war machines. Be careful. Oh, watch my step. Thanks, Zero. I'm going to scout around. I'll catch up later. Alright, that was a neat little scene. Obviously, if uh, you died while playing as Zero, you won't see that scene. Those guys are annoying. Ha! Caught him on the uh, fly back there. I like that. Oh, now this area. We're going to want to try and conserve our health here. I am doing a very poor job of this. I need to get back up there. Can I get back up there? I need to get something. Because I did screw this up. In fact, the game is even telling me I screwed this up because uh, we've been doing this for so long that the music has uh, looped. Alright. Yes. Now there is a secret in this, and we're going to use. They were going to try out the K for kill everything really quickly, and we get something that looks very close to the uh, armor vial hat, except uh, we can charge it like in Mega Man X2, and then launch it uh, a little bit different from X2. And uh, he just blocked our attack, and we kill stuff by punching it in the face. Now, in order to get this secret, I believe you have to have uh, full health, which is why I wanted that ride armor through there. And if we collected, uh, if we collected, well, everything, and I believe you have to have full stub tanks as well, this capsule will be here. And what this does is, uh, Remember those chips I talked about, those pink capsules in the uh, 8 Maverick stages? This essentially gives us all four of those chips. 
And uh, I'll kind of explain what they do. The feet let you basically defy gravity even more. Now you can double dash in the air, or dash upwards twice. Really neat. Uh, the helmet, I believe it's the helmet, gives us a... Uh, if we stand still long enough, it will start recharging our health slowly. This is really useful for uh, boss gates. The armor gives us, well, higher defensive boost in our armor. Uh, you saw our uh, shield that appears when we take a hit. Um, now the shield will be golden. And the buster gives us the... Giga attack. Oh, actually, it uh, lets us do this. That's really useful. I'm gonna hang on to that. Yeah, I normally don't uh, use that ability. All right, and since we defeated Bit and Bite, we're going to battle something different here. We're going to battle. Whatever the heck this is. Honestly, I'm not too sure. Uh, let's just kill it. And so, this guy... He can be a little bit obnoxious. And if you shoot off his, uh... Snout there, uh... Bad things will start to happen. I'll get rid of him. And the uh, thing up there is going to... Oh, that's... Okay, so he likes to uh, pull us in like that. I will probably use a uh, sub-tank on this guy. Or multiples. I really need to uh, avoid that claw a little bit better. This is also why I grinded for life, lives. So just kind of uh, hang out on the wall and uh, know what you're doing and you can dodge him. You can also uh, fail to uh, fire properly or aim properly. Uh, but anyways, if you do end up destroying his snout, I'm I'm not going to demonstrate anything because I'm just going to die. Alright. As you can tell, it's probably been a while since I fought this thing. Typically, I'm used to fighting a uh, bit and bite here. Okay, so don't let the claw grab me, and I should be okay. Now I need, need to uh, follow my own advice. keep thinking I have a uh, fully charged thing, and I don't. Ah, uh, you know what, Ray Splasher. Oh, well, this is going to make things a lot nicer. Alright, and uh, when you destroy his snout, he starts to uh, fill up the room with lava. That's not good, because the uh, lava will do a lot of damage. So, now we really want to hang out along the wall.
Good news is those little junk bots that were shooting on us just disintegrate into the uh, acid. Did I call that lava? That was acid. It was green. There's no such thing as green lava. And uh, that'll be all for the first stage.